Hi, I'm Professor Bleckerman, and this is the fundamentals of the admissions process for the Master of Science in Financial Engineering program here at NYU Poly. We have a number of things to discuss, and if any of this is unclear or if you have further questions, please don't hesitate to send an email to me on the link that's provided on this page. Thank you. First, things we consider when we do admissions here at NYU Poly. We want to know what school you went to for your undergraduate studies, we want to know what you studied, and we want to know what grades you had. Now, as far as how good do my grades have to have been, the answer to this and most things in finance is it depends. Now, what does it depend on? Well, the better school you went to, the more willing we are to entertain slightly lower grades. The more you've done since graduation, the more willing we are to entertain slightly lower grades. But as a general rule, if you have a grade point average under a B, we're not going to consider you. And if you have a grade point average that's over halfway between a B and an A, that's a plus. We absolutely require a GRE test from absolutely everyone. Now, there's an asterisk there. There are a few exceptions every year, but we, for a good, solid, general statement with only a few exceptions, we absolutely require a GRE test from everyone. No GMAT, GRE only. What else do we look at when we do admissions? We want to see what you've done with your life. If you've got 20 years worth of work experience and you say to us, hey, do I really have to take a GRE? Well, you're the person we're willing to discuss saying, no, we'll let it slide. 20 years worth of work experience on Wall Street, that's a classroom plus for us. When we teach, that's hard to value. Have you unique achievements in your life? That'll certainly help. Your references, your letters of recommendation for gaining entry to the program, they will certainly help as well. Now, English and math. What is it that we want from you with English and math? For mathematics, you have to have had solid, solid, superior grades in calculus, more calculus, and probably still more calculus. In probability theory, linear algebra helps too. This is a primary focus of what we're looking at when we do the evaluation of applicant dossiers. And English, we have discovered in our classes that if students aren't really capable of English, they're not going to be able to follow what we're doing and they're not going to be able to contribute. And so we do have a requirement that's higher than the institutes for English proficiency. Finally, in the admissions process, we professors often get a lot of questions about the timing of applications and deadlines, scholarship information, tuition levels, and financial aid. And to that, we basically say not us. Okay? If you have questions about the process of becoming a student here, those process questions belong to our Graduate Center. And they are more than happy to help, and they are very, very capable people. If you have questions about academics, coursework, and graduation requirements, and the standards for admission, we're happy to help.